Fatty liver disease is on the rise and in fact it is a lot more common than you might think. But what are the symptoms that you might be affected? Hello and welcome back to Dr. Solar channel. I am Dr. Fatima and today we are going to talk about the symptoms that you might have fatty liver disease. It is really important to know these symptoms because by knowing them, you can prevent the progression of disease and sometimes even reverse fatty liver disease. So don't miss out on it. Let's go. Fatty liver refers to the buildup of excess fat in your liver cells. The liver's job is crucial. It processes everything we eat and drink, filters harmful substances from the blood, and performs many other vital functions. And when there is too much fat in your liver, it can interfere with all of these processes. There are several factors that can contribute to the development of fatty liver disease. The first one is your diet. Consuming a lot of processed foods, saturated fats, refined sugars, and calories can increase your risk. The next one is an obvious one, alcohol. Excessive consumption of alcohol can lead to alcoholic fatty liver disease. Also, if you don't have everyday physical activities and you have a sedentary lifestyle, you should consider yourself at risk. And there are some underlying health issues which have been shown to be associated with fatty liver disease. Conditions like obesity, high blood pressure, and especially type 2 diabetes can contribute to the buildup of fat in your liver. Now, fatty liver disease is not a single condition. It has several stages, and the first one is simple fatty liver. It is the initial stage where there is a buildup of excess fat in your liver, but typically there is no damage at this point. But it is an alarm sign that you need to change your lifestyle. If you continue with the bad lifestyle, the next stage would be liver steatohepatitis, where the liver gets inflamed. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis can lead to more severe complications and is a red flag. Over time, this persistent inflammation can cause scar tissue to form and replace your healthy liver tissue. It is called the fibrosis stage. The liver can still function at this stage, but its ability to regenerate and process toxins can become compromised. The most severe stage of fatty liver disease is cirrhosis. In this stage, the liver gets significantly scarred, which can affect its structure and its function. Cirrhosis can lead to liver failure, where the liver cannot function at all. All right, now that we know a bit about fatty liver disease, let's talk about the signs that you might have if you have fatty liver disease. Well, here's the tricky thing about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Most adults won't even realize that they have it in their early stages. Often people realize that they have it while checking for something completely different, like checking for diabetes or gallstones or even a routine checkup. The blood tests that check for liver function might show some abnormalities sometimes, but not always. And even if they do, the values are just slightly elevated. But here's a crucial fact. Just because the values are mild doesn't mean that the disease is mild as well. The blood tests don't always indicate the severity of liver damage. In some cases, your liver tests can be almost normal, but your liver can be still significantly affected. But there are still some common symptoms that we observe in people with fatty liver disease, and one of them is constant fatigue and tiredness. The liver plays a huge role in how your body manages its energy. So it's thought that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease can be responsible for feeling fatigue and a decreased physical capacity. That's why some people with fatty liver disease report constant tiredness and a general feeling of lethargy. The other symptom that you might notice is abdominal discomfort. Some people experience a dull or aching sensation in the right upper side of their abdomen. This discomfort might be intermittent, but it can be a direct result of your liver being affected. The next symptom that you might experience is itchy skin. As the liver struggles to filter out toxins from your bloodstream, you might experience itchy skin. 
This can be widespread or localized. In more advanced stages, you might experience the yellowing of your skin and your eyes. This is a result of bilirubin, a yellow compound building up in the blood because the liver can't process it efficiently. As the liver function declines, you can notice swelling in different parts of your body. Fluid built up in your legs is one type of these swellings called edema. You might also experience this built up of fluid in your abdomen, which is called ascites. Ascites can make your belly look swollen and feel tight. Rapid weight loss without a clear cause can be a sign of advancing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease as well. So it's crucial that you consult your doctor if you have this sign alongside other symptoms. Another sign that you might notice is bruising and bleeding very easily. The liver produces proteins which are required for blood clotting. As the liver function gets compromised, these proteins can no longer be produced very well and you can experience easily bruising and bleeding. In severe cases, when liver cannot process the toxins anymore, these toxins build up in your brain. The buildup of toxins in your brain can lead to confusion, drowsiness, and slurred speech a condition known as hepatic encephalopathy. What's really important to know is that these symptoms are really general and they can easily overlap with those of other medical conditions. But anyway, if you or someone you know is dealing with these symptoms, especially with a combination of them, it's crucial to talk to a medical professional in order to get an accurate diagnosis. Remember that early detection is the key to a healthier and brighter future. Thank you for being with me and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Until the next video, bye!